On Wednesday, the Democratic Republic of the Congo's Prime Minister, Augustin Matata Ponyo Mapon, expressed his country's support for the United Nations peace plan. The UN's proposal includes creating a peace enforcement force in the east of the country. The unit would be integrated into the mission already present in the Congo. At the moment, MONUSCO boasts nearly 18,000 men. The UN plan was expected to be signed during the last summit of the African Union on January 28th, but several regional heads of state rejected it. Since then, the plan has been postponed indefinitely. We support the United Nations' goal to readapt MONUSCO's mandates in order to enable the force to intervene against foreign forces entering the Democratic Republic of Congo to create insecurity in order to benefit from mining. The new intervention brigade would have a stronger mandate. More than just a peacekeeping mission, it would be able to use force to counter the M23. The rebels have been leading violent uprisings in the Kivus. Last November, MONUSCO and the Congolese army failed to stop the M23 from capturing Goma. The rebels eventually agreed to withdraw from the capital of North Kivu 10 days later in exchange for negotiations with the government. Talks between the two sides are currently taking place in Kampala. The discussions are slowly making progress. On Wednesday, Congolese authorities and rebels both accepted responsibility for the failure of an earlier peace deal. That treaty was signed on March 23, 2009, between the government and the National Congress for the Defense of the People, a now-defunct militia which was a precursor to the M23.